Hey what's up guys welcome to the speedest comparison between the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra with the S24 Ultra in this video I will be doing some gaming app opening rendering and RAM management to give you an idea which device is faster so guys let's begin the video by booting up both the devices at the same time here we go as you can see, the logo of both the devices have appeared on their respective devices. The Galaxy S25 Ultra is going to be packing the Snapdragon 8 Elite processor, whereas the Galaxy S24 Ultra is coming with Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor with 12GB of RAM option. So quite surprisingly, the Galaxy S25 Ultra is just a millisecond faster than the S24 Ultra. So definitely both the devices are going to be absolutely great and both are performing really great in terms of the boot up speed. Now before going to the test, both the devices are going to be connected with the same Wi-Fi connection and there are no apps running in the background. So before going to the test, we are going to be testing the Geekbench and the 3 d Mark test to give you an idea how the device and the processor are going to be. So first of all, we are going to be seeing the Geekbench score which I have already tested and here is the result. As you can see, the Snapdragon 8 Elite processor is going to be better in terms of the CPU and the GPU performance. It's way ahead from the S24 Ultra. So definitely this year, the Snapdragon 8 Elite is going to be one of the best processor right now. Now the second app is the 3 d Mark, and in here we are going to be doing the 3D Wild Extreme test which will give you an idea how these devices are handling the 3D rendering of the device and gaming. So as you can see the result of both the devices are here and you will notice that the Galaxy S25 Ultra is going to be packing a 6500 score which is absolutely great. So definitely this is going to be a much improved device right now. Alright guys, now we are going to be beginning the speed test comparison between both of these devices and we are going to be starting with the basic application which is the phone dialer and as you can see the animation of phone dialer is going to be absolutely great both of these devices animation are absolutely great now as you can see i'm opening the setting application and the animation is going to be great for that particular device as well so definitely animation has been improved in both the devices in one us 7 and you guys let's move towards the third party application and the first application is going to be Cora. So as you can see the Cora is going to be faster in terms of the loading in S25 Ultra. Here you can see the scrolling of both the devices. Both the devices have handling the scrolling and content quite easily faster easier and smoother now let's move towards the second application and it is the spotify and it's going to be faster in the s24 ultra as you can see loading is faster in the s24 ultra so definitely the galaxy s24 ultra is winner in the spotify reign moving on towards the reddit and it's going to be loading faster in the s25 ultra which is going to be pretty amazing and it's going to be looking great the scrolling is even better in that particular device as well Moving towards the YouTube and it's going to be loading faster in the S24 Ultra as you can see and I think that the S25 Ultra is also quicker and the difference between both of these devices is just minimal. Now moving towards the Snapchat and in here the S24 Ultra is the winner in terms of loading the cameras. Now Instagram is going to be faster in both the devices and both the devices have performed really great and opening the Instagram and you can see that the scrolling is going to be smooth and the content is loading faster on both the devices. Now if we open up the cameras both the applications are handling it pretty fast and both are tied in that particular scenario. And you guys moving towards the first game is the Surface Surfers and it's going to be faster in the S25 Ultra as compared to the S24 Ultra. So the difference between both of these devices game opening is just a few milliseconds. Now moving towards the second game and it's the flip diving and in here the Galaxy S25 Ultra seems to be faster but as you can see both are loading at exact same time so definitely it's a tie between both of these devices. Now let's play a little game here and then move towards the next game. Now guys here is the first high graphic game that is going to be running in the S25 Ultra and the S24 Ultra so let's see which device will be loading it faster. As you can see the Galaxy S25 Ultra is faster in terms of loading the game and it's going to be absolutely amazing. Now let's see how these devices are going to be handling the in-game performance of both the devices 
and as you can see the s25 ultra is faster in here as well and the gaming performance is similar in both the devices and they are excellent and you know another game that is going to be one of my favorite one is the pubg mobile and if you look at the pubg mobile i really think that both are going to be handling it pretty fast the galaxy s25 ultra is looking like to be the first one to open up the game and as you can see the galaxy s25 ultra has loaded the pubg mobile first as compared to the galaxy s24 ultra but do note that the s24 ultra is not behind either it's just a few seconds slower as compared to the s25 ultra and you know guys the performance of both the devices is absolutely great as you can see i'm testing out that particular device performances and you notice that there is not going to be any hiccup both are excellent devices for pubg mobile now here you can see i am testing both of these devices and they are handling the graphics and gaming performance and even the internet quite significantly fast both are excellent devices both are going to be supporting the 120 fps gaming support is also there and you can also get the hdr support as well in both of these devices so definitely both are going to be excellent devices so anyone you can pick moving towards the next application and it is the netflix and it's going to be opening faster in the galaxy s24 ultra as compared to the s25 ultra moving to no next application is going to be play store and it's going to be faster in the s25 ultra just a few milliseconds now we have the rendering application in here and in here we are going to be doing a 4k video rendering for both the devices and applying some effect on that and export them in 720 or 1080p resolution to give you an idea of which device is faster in terms of the rendering of both the devices as you can see i'm exporting both of them in 1080p resolution and the galaxy s25 ultra is blazing fast as compared to the galaxy s24 ultra in terms of exporting that particular video now we have another application for rendering testing and it's the cap cut now let's see what is going to be happening if we export the if we export the 720p resolution in both of these devices so as you can see the galaxy s25 ultra is faster in here as well so this means that the s25 ultra is handling the rendering of images better as compared to the s24 ultra now moving towards the browsing of both the devices we are going to be testing the phone arena first and as you can see it's going to be loading exactly at the same time between both of these devices so browser wise the first website open faster in both the devices now second website is gsm arena and as you can see it's also loading faster in both the devices at the exact same time so definitely both are handling the browser particularly well in this test and you guys let's do the ram management both of these devices are coming with a 12 gigabyte of ram option and see which device handles the ram better so first application is going to be the phone dialer as you can see it's handled quite well it's a low application so we can expect that next we have the browser and it's still there in the device third we have the cap card it's still there now we also have the adobe rush and it's still there in the ram management so definitely ram management is good in both the devices play store is also there netflix is also there in both the devices now both the devices have handled pubg very well and it's going to be in the ram as well now we have second game which is real racing and it's also going to be available in here we also have the flip diving still in the ram so definitely ram management is better subway surface is also there instagram is going to be refresh in both the devices so definitely both the devices are exactly same in here next we have snapchat it's there in the ram tiktok is also there youtube is going to be refreshed in the s24 ultra this is going to be the first application that has been refreshed and it is going to be happening in the s24 ultra quora reddit and the setting application are still there so definitely the ram management is going to be absolutely great in both the devices both are neck to neck with each other and you guys at the end of the video i think that both the devices are absolutely great yes in some scenario the s25 ultra is better but i think that it's going to be 20 to 30 percent better than the s24 ultra if you are an owner of s24 ultra then i definitely think that you don't have to upgrade your device from that particular s24 ultra to the s25 ultra and you guys this is it in this particular video if you wanted to see some other speed test comparison the links are in the description and in the cards you can check them out as well and also i am making some amazing content on my channel so do consider subscribing thanks for watching peace